Turkey has deployed a mobile missile launcher system to the military base near its border with Syria as part of Ankara's security measures after Syrian forces shot down a Turkish jet last week. The Turkish military jet was shot over the Mediterranean on June 22. Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan responded by ordering his troops to treat any Syrian military element approaching the border as a military target. Erdogan, however, gave no details but said that this warning could apply to Syrian forces pursuing rebel towards the two nations' common border or patrolling helicopters or warplanes. Turkey, in the forefront line of Western efforts to press Assad to step down, hosts about 33,000 Syrian refugees near its southern border, as well as units of the rebel Free Syrian Army. Turkish officials, speaking on condition of anonymity on Thursday, described the movement of Turkish troops and military vehicles towards the joint border as a precaution. And here to discuss Turkish-Syrian relations further is Jiran Kenar. Kenar is the Beirut correspondent of TRT Turk TV and a columnist with the Turkish Daily Taraf. Welcome, Jiran. Hi. I wanted to ask, what is the situation of the Syrian refugees in Turkey right now? Uh, well, we uh, actually, Turkey is hosting, uh, I think, tens of thousands of Syrian refugees in Turkey right now. There are several refugee camps along uh, the Syrian border. And I, uh, Turkey is considering this, I mean, Turkey is perceiving this issue as a sign of goodwill. Therefore, they're allocating a great deal of funds and they're doing their best to improve the conditions of refugees, of the Syrian refugees in Turkey in particular. In fact, uh, Annan, for example, Kofi Annan visited the refugee camps once and he was very impressed saying that this is one of the best camps I've ever seen in my life. And you know, unfortunately, refugee camps are not the best places to live. That's true, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but still, uh, Turkey is treating the Syrian refugees in a different manner. Uh, from, uh, for example, I've been to other refugee camps in Turkey and they were terrible. But as far as I am uh, informed about the situation in Syrian refugee camps, the situation is completely different. Uh, their health care, for example, is compensated by the Turkish state. I mean, the Turkish state is covering their health expenses and uh, the conditions are quite good. That's at least what I've heard. They're in good hands, basically. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, because tur for Turkey, this is a diplom for for Turkey, this is uh, a sign. Um, it, this is a way to uh, show solidarity with the tur uh, with Syrian people. Right, and Syria used to be one of Turkey's main allies before Correct. all of this started, but Correct. right now the tables have turned. Correct. And especially after last week, things have changed. Definitely. And Erdogan said, "Well." We're not going to strike back after uh, Syria downed the Turkish jet, but you need to beware. Yeah. So do you think it changed anything inside Turkey, this, this jet? Good question. I mean, I was in uh, Istanbul when the uh, Turkish jet was sh shut down. And it, of course, this created a huge uproar in Turkey. I mean, Turks are not pleased to see that the Syrian regime is shooting down uh, it, it's jet and probably killing the pilots. Although I mean. it said it did violate international airspace, that's what they said, and Turkey agreed in a, in a way. Right? No, actually, Turkey says that uh, this uh, jet was shut down in the international airspace. Right. Uh, but the Syrians refused this claim, saying that it was shut down in our own uh, airspace. Even that's the case, even the jet was shut down in the Syrian airspace. Uh, there are, I mean, if shooting down the jets, uh, the, the, all, all, I mean, this is not what you do when a jet is violating your airspace. You don't directly shut it without any warning. This mm. is against, I think, international regulations and it is a kind of a hostile behavior. For example, according to the statistics of Turkish armed forces, during the first half of, the, uh, of this year, there had been more than 100 violations in the Turkish uh, airspace. And Turkey shot none of these jets. And later on, Erdogan also announced that three uh, Syrian helicopters uh, violated the Turkish airspace before, but Turkey didn't shut them down. So even this jet had violated the Syrian airspace. I think this is unacceptable. Shooting down the jet was unacceptable. And this is how it was perceived in Turkey as well. However, it was quite interesting, at least it was interesting for me mm -hmm. to see that 
even Turks were quite disturbed to see their jet was shot down, uh, they are against any kind of unilateral uh, military action to right. Syria. Why do you think that is so? Do you think because Erdogan and Turkey would have a lot to lose if they were to strike? I guess at so. This time? I mean, they, they, uh, the stakes are high here. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and I think uh, right. I mean, Turks have a point saying that, well, this is not a personal issue between Turkey and Syria. I mean, uh, there are not. Uh, this case is not two countries uh, with conflicting interests. Rather, this is a state where a brutal regime is massacring its own people. So if there should be, um, if there is, uh, a, there should be any kind of intervention, it should be an international one. This is what at least the Turkish public opinion says. And uh, the ruling government right now, the ruling party is a catch-all party in Turkey. It's a populist party, it's a pragmatic party. So it cannot uh, turn deaf uh, to what the public opinion in Turkey is saying. Now, I want to also ask one thing. The Turkey is supporting the Syrian opposition, obviously also uh, hosting all these refugees. Do you know what kind of aid or how it is supporting? Yeah. The, is, is there, are there any arms, dealerships, yeah. <laughs> or any things we, anything we can, you can tell us today? That is what distinguished uh, international media outlets had been reporting about. They're saying that Turkey is arming the opposition. Is it? The, according to Turkish uh, foreign ministry, that's not the case. Uh, Turkey is providing political support for the opposition. And as everybody knows, I mean, the, 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 uh, the main uh, capital for the Syrian opposition is Istanbul. Uh, Turkey was the first uh, country to Most host the Syrian Syria. opposition, right? And uh, the, the, the Syrian National Council was founded in Turkey, in Istanbul. So, uh, first in Antalya and then Istanbul. So, uh, Turkey has been insisting that it is merely giving uh, political and humanitarian support for the Syrian opposition. But I I think that Turkey is also arming the opposition. I mean, uh, because is. that is what uh, this international media outlets say. And even Turkey has been refusing these claims so far. I think after the last incident happening with Syria, Turkey will uh, play the game quite differently. So I think this is what they're preparing and right now. To the tables have changed and have turned, and definitely, the definitely. players have to be set up definitely. in the right way. And in fact, I think Turkey will increase the amount of its support to the Syrian opposition. I think because uh, the rules of engagement has changed. So uh, apparently, uh, from now on, Turkey is uh, considering Syria as a hostile state. Uh, so now I think Turkey will exert more energy to topple the regime.